I don't think I should reintroduce myself because I was uh, on the podium yesterday, but for the benefit of newcomers, um, I am a physician working primarily out of the pathology department at the UCLA David Geffen School of Medicine. And um, Dave Kekage asked me to chair the session for uh, four physicians on our panel today, whom I will introduce shortly, uh, to discuss the topic of how to choose an anti-aging doctor for your personal physician. I mean, the choice of an anti-aging doctor is one of the most important decisions that a patient can make in the course of their life because it could be a life-shortening decision if you don't choose the right person. And we've managed to uh, also project some of the questions that we'll ask the panel to address. Uh, and uh, Dr. Ulis uh, actually proposed a whole series of additional questions <clears throat> beyond the ones that uh, I had initially put together. Um, some of them are so technical, maybe the panel won't even be able to answer, and we'll have to go out to the general audience to see who can actually uh, answer. They're, they're like quiz program questions, um, uh, and some of them quite technical. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but by way of uh, introductions, uh, you know, first to my right is Dr. Philip Miller. Uh, he is the founder and medical director of the Los Gatos Longevity Institute and has been in practice, it says, for 34 years. You don't look quite that old, but... Um, practice with my priest. Yes. You, so you have uh, come out of the other side of this experience uh, looking younger than your years. So you must know a thing or two about anti-aging medicine. Uh, you graduated from UC Berkeley in 1968 uh, and uh, have a degree in biochemistry and you got your MD uh, from UC San Diego on the other side of the state. Um, and uh, you, know, you were associated with uh, Dr. Julian Whitaker <clears throat> who was a speaker many years ago to our gerontology research group uh, uh, and his Wellness Institute in Newport Beach, California. And uh, you're a member of one of the unmentionable uh, three-letter uh, organizations, A4M, uh, because I'm heavily involved myself with another organization called uh, AMMG, Age Management Medical Group, which just completed its four-day meeting for the fall uh, last weekend at the Red Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. And we meet also in the spring uh, in Florida, and people can talk to me about getting signed up if you want to receive information about that. I think the A4M meeting is still coming up in Las Vegas later in, in December. And let's see, uh, in addition to your work in anti-aging medicine and literature that you've done, um, you're the editor-in-chief of a new distinct and topical longevity newsletter, and uh, I'll let people talk about that to you uh, at a later time. Let's see, uh, Dr. Ulis is uh, next uh, in this row, and I've known Carlos for maybe 15 years um, when you first started your practice in Santa Monica. I think originally you were in pediatrics at UCLA and in Seattle. And, uh, so he and I have worked together uh, with the gerontology research group for many years and shared our common experience and database of knowledge about how to practice anti-aging medicine. But his subspecialty is actually sports medicine. And athletes, especially the international Olympic type athletes, are known to burn through their uh, resources at an early age and may experience accelerated aging. And so you have a different perspective from the ordinary anti-aging doctor. Um, and you've authored four popular books, uh, some of them on testosterone supplementation, and uh, you know, made presentations all around the world on longevity exercise and sports medicine. Next um, is Dr. Joseph Mercola. Uh, oh, no, I guess uh, next is actually Dave Warnowski. Okay. And um, you, know, you actually submitted some questions to me yesterday, and they're going to be on the slides as we get to them. Uh, you came originally from Pennsylvania and um, have uh, certificates in age management medicine from 
uh, the AMA from 2006. Um, in addition to your own practice, um, you know, you have worked with people in New York from TA Sciences um, and uh, have been a consultant on CBS and ABC for the H1N1 swine flu pandemic and an uh, avid athlete and ultra runner that competes in the 80 mile Canadian death race to sponsor his own charity. Very good. Uh, again, practicing what you preach. And then Joseph Mercola, um, author of a New York Times best-selling book and uh, helped countless people to reach their health and weight loss goals um, and has appeared on national and local television and media, The Today Show, CNN, CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox News, and so forth. And uh, he co-founded in 1985 the Optimal Wellness Center in Schaumburg, Illinois. I guess that's near Chicago. And uh, became quickly well known for its whole body approach to medicine. Um, and uh, so with that brief introduction, uh, let's turn to the question of how a consumer, an ordinary person, not yet sick, uh, so to speak, in terms of going to a conventional uh, family doctor or specialist, might choose as his primary or her primary physician, uh, an anti-aging physician. And so the very first question that we'll ask uh, here uh, in the slide is, how can a consumer identify uh, a qualified anti-aging doctor? Are there certificates available and so forth where somebody uh, can have a diploma on the wall like they have their MD uh, telling us what his or her qualifications are? And uh, you know, what are the differences between a traditional family doctor might be a typical uh, primary physician for most people uh, and an anti-aging doctor? So. Let's see, why don't we go first uh, to Phil Miller and see how he would answer that first question. Um, this is a difficult question. It's an important question, but let me rephrase this a bit. Um, we had done this behind the scenes. Um, how do you find a qualified cardiologist? How do you find a qualified pediatrician? I personally don't think it's simply by board certification. Because what's important really is the art, the simpatico, uh, knowledge, and uh, personality. And, and there's a whole array of qualities that you're looking for in any physician. I think the whole medical profession today is in trouble. I think any physician that you go to today is not giving you good medicine. So when you look at an anti-aging physician, let's look at that within the whole context of how do you find a good doctor in any specialty. In anti-aging medicine, I'm one of the fortunate people to, um, or unfortunate, to have spent virtually my entire career uh, on the edge. So I was in emergency medicine from the beginning, before there were board certifications. I was in urgent care medicine before there were board certifications. And now here I am in anti-aging medicine, one of the very first practicing in anti-aging medicine. So the board certification qualification is not the only thing. What else do you have to look at? Well, today we have the internet. And you can go to people's website and you can see the depth of their knowledge, their approach, their philosophy. You can see what books they've written. You can see, you can talk to other people. Um, I think today, though, the websites really help. Uh, there's so much information out there in terms of who is the best and uh, where are the resources for finding an anti-aging physician that um, people never have trouble finding me. And I think they find me really because of the variety of resources that are out there. So the one thing that I wanna leave everybody with, it's not simply just a piece of paper or a bird certification that qualifies you as the best. 